Hey guys, today we are going to see how to create those simple cards for, you know, adding your teammates of your company on your website or on your client website, of course. I'm Arian, welcome to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and notification bell. This would help me a lot. And of course, let's start right now. Here we are, guys. So let's start by clicking on the plus button. Okay, then I'm going to select three columns and uh, as I want to add my teammates, of course, I need the picture of my teammate. So I'm going to drag and drop this image here. And of course, um, I want it like, let's say a, a circle. So a rounded image, I can go on style and select pixel on the width. Uh, let's make it 150 and then height. Uh, it's already on pixel and I'm going to make it like 152 so it makes a good square. Uh, the object fit, we can change it to cover if we wish so that it doesn't, you know, distort the image. And of course, um, we can, you know, change the border radius and to make it circle just, just add a 100 as a value and now we have a circle, right? Otherwise, you can upload a PNG image with a picture in a circle. Uh, made with photoshop for example and that's probably the easiest way to do that but anyway now i'm going to add of course uh, some text under underneath so i'm going um to click on this little icon heading drag and drop it here and here you can add the name right uh, so let's say arian shirani is the name of my teammate and then i can make it center of course you can change um, the, the typography here, like the size of it, you can make it bigger, smaller, the weight, we can even make it, you know, uh, like that, uh, very, very ugly, but we can keep it like this. And then we can, uh, of course, add from the widget here, uh, some text, let's do it like this, maybe a shorter text, maybe a description, right? So I'm going to remove some text from here, like this. And uh, on here on style, of course, uh, I'm going to center it, okay? And then I want also to add some, you know, social media icons, for example, right? So I'm going on this little widget here and let's search for um, social. And of course we have um, the social icons here. So drag and drop it right here. And of course, I'm going to make them smaller. They are too big, so I'm going on style. Um, you can change the official color with a, a custom color like this, and the primary color uh, would be, let's say, um, a light color, and the secondary, um, I'm going to use this color, for example. And of course, the size here, you can change it, make it smaller as you wish and also the padding, as you can see, the box around the icon could be changed like that. Let's make also the size bigger, maybe like that. Padding a little bit smaller, um, spacing, let's space it a little bit, um, you know, row gaps. Uh, in this case, we don't have row gaps, so if you change this, nothing happens, and, and that's how we do that. So now uh, let's say I would like to add, you know, uh, a border on the top or just a background to this. So um, to do that, actually click on the column and then on style, I'm going to add a background type, right? Um, so by clicking on it, I will be able to change the color or the image background. I'm going to use a simple color. Um, you can use whatever you want. Let's just test this. Uh, if I click on light, for example, it changed all the color, but let's say I don't want to add any color here, or let's say I just want to add this color, but uh, let's make it a little bit lighter, right? Like this, okay? So now we have a lighter color, and let's say I want to add a border to it, okay? So I'm going to click on border, solid, and here I'm going to add like a solid border like this, and of course, let's, you know, make everything a little bit more smooth and add some border radius like this. And as you can see, something is moving there. It's changing the border radius of the image. And um, of course, also add the padding. The most important thing is, of course, the padding. And I can go on advanced and, you know, uh, change the padding here. I usually get on the percentage here by clicking here and then, you know, uh, just 
add some padding like that okay so now we have our card uh, with the image of your teammate the name some little description and the social media of course on the social media as you can see we have a really light mouse hover but just click on the social media if you want to add some mouse hover effect uh, you get here the icon hover so click on it and a hover animation you can even add like uh, let's say a float for example and when you mouse over look at the icons it's floating right this looks really cool um, great let's leave it like that and then uh, you can also you know change the border size anyway uh, if you want to duplicate this in the other column of course don't forget to go on advance and add some margins because otherwise the column will be all uh, attached they were all close too close uh, from from one and another so I'm going to add a percentage here and adding some margin to it oops I'm sorry we need to select the main column be careful uh, and now in the main column we need to uh, add some margin okay so let's say you want to add also some cool um, you know um, shadow okay so to add the shadow you just need to click on this column so be sure this column is selected get back to style and then on, always on border we have um, the box shadow just here so I'm going to click on box shadow okay let's um, you know move it vertically at the bottom a little bit more and then I like to blur it usually like that you can also uh, remove less spreading or you just increase it like this and then you can change the color of it so I'm going to change this color um, with the blue like with the light blue that like that probably and of course I usually keep it a, a, a really light effect and let me check how it looks it looks great so this is the final result uh, you have your icons here bouncing if you mouse over you have the image here so it looks really cool let's try and duplicate this if we have more teammates right so I'm going to remove the column delete remove this other column delete and now this column right click duplicate and this other column duplicate looks great so um, let me check also the mobile version because as the design is very very simple if I click on mobile version normally this looks awesome also on mobile so I'm really happy that this came out so good this is a, like a free uh, freestyle designing <laughs> wireframing so um, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to, of the final result great everything is done everything is working well I hope that this tutorial was useful and once again guys like this video subscribe to the channel and notification bell so that you can uh, get notified every time I put out a cool tutorial like this thanks a lot and see you in the next video bye <laughs>